Samsung Galaxy View is a mystery to many. It's an 18.4 inch tablet with mid-range specs and a high price tag. Recently, one of the writers at Engadget said what many of us are thinking. I just don't understand why the Samsung Galaxy View exists. So exactly how big is 18.4 inches? Well, this is my MacBook Pro. It's a very popular laptop. I'm sure many of you in the audience have it. And it is 15 inches diagonally across. Now, the Samsung Galaxy View is another 3.4 inches, somewhere right about there. It's bigger than this, and that's a tablet. It is so big that Samsung felt they had to put a permanent handle on the back. Crazy? Ridiculous? Maybe not. Now, for those of you who are new to the mobile tech industry, you may not know that when the original Galaxy Note came out, Samsung was ridiculed and made fun of for making such an abnormally large phone. Now, nowadays, it's normal. Samsung won that battle. They created a new category, and now almost every major flagship is 5.2 inches or bigger. But at the time, it so stood out from the 3.5 inch iPhones and the 4.3 inch Android phones on the market, it was crazy big and it stood out. But Samsung took a risk. They took the jokes, they took the slander and ridicule and created a new category. And today, who dominates the phablet category? Samsung. First in mind means first in market share. You see, there is a difference between taking a risk that may fail and creating a new category of a device and just creating 20, 30 different models of a device in the same category and just hoping something sticks. One demonstrates a lack of vision. The other one demonstrates smart strategy. So what does that mean for you and me? Samsung is pushing the boundaries to determine exactly how big is too big. Yes, 18.4 inches sounds ridiculous and it may not work, but then they can scale back and try 15.5 inches, 14 inches, something's gonna work. They wanna be the first in that category and win big. The problem of course is that Samsung is famous for failing to communicate their vision of their devices to us, the consumer. When asked, what the purpose was for such a massive tablet, Samsung said this. The Galaxy View was envisioned by its designers as a fun and useful tool for everyone in the home, everywhere they live. Which of course means nothing, but when pressed further, they did get more specific. The Galaxy View excels at showing off content and its apps are custom made to fit a variety of lifestyles. A cook might use it for recipes or keeping up with shows in the kitchen. Children can play games in the living room. The sports fan can take the tablet from room to room and outside to the grill, keeping tabs on the action without sacrificing the large screen experience. Samsung also mentioned it can be a great educational tool for schools and other institutes. It's a welcome companion on camping trips or tailgating with a battery that can support eight hours of video playback or use it to play music videos at parties with speakers capable of providing some serious sound. None of which I find very persuasive, but I will make a bold prediction here right now today. It may not be the Galaxy View, but I think big tablets are going to be the future in the next 18 months to two years. We've got to have some way to bridge the gap between tablet and laptop. And going big may be a possibility. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading them. Now, if you knew me from my XDA Developer TV days, you'd know that I interviewed hundreds of successful software developers. And what became very painfully clear is that there is a serious gap between the theory that computer science engineering students learn and the practical knowledge needed to build a great app. And that's the problem that our beloved sponsor, Full Sail University, is trying to address. The Mobile Development Bachelor's Degree Program offered on campus and online teaches students how to develop apps and utilities through courses that cover both iOS and Android development. All students graduate with multiple completed software products. And the Web Design and Development Bachelor's Degree Program also offered on campus and online teaches front end design and back end development along with coding formats, programming languages and more. All students have hands-on access to technology from day one. They receive a laptop computer at an institutional discount along with relevant software and tools. To learn more about Full Sail's web and technology programs, visit fullsail.edu forward slash authority. 
Thanks for watching guys. Before I go though, I did want to talk about something that happened on Android Weekly on Sunday or Monday morning, depending on when you saw it. And that's with regards to the Galaxy A7 and A5. Hundreds of you were saying, why are you talking about this? These phones are already out. They just came out earlier this year. I was referring to the Galaxy A7 and A5 coming in 2016. These are new things that are gonna be released in the next few months. So just wanted to clarify that. Thanks for watching guys. You don't wanna forget about my brothers and sister in Android who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.